So when I got dragged, or I dragged myself to Charlottesville, I had to seek out how to live, you know, in this southern town. Um, so I was looking for urbanity, and uh, the, the place I found first was a Coca-Cola building. I was really lucky to get a place in there. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, just wonderful, you know, window walls, and uh, it was when I was actually a little bit social, <laughs> and I, we had wild dance parties there. It was excellent. The historian Dan Bluestone, he's a great colleague that really was influential. We did, we did studios together, and actually that's when I really learned the value of uh, working with historian that, you know, landscape architects themselves, I think, do kind of a hack job. <laughs> so he was great. He discovered, he came over, he goes, do you mind if I pull up a little piece, piece of the carpet? Because I was studying the Coca-Cola uh, co Coca buildings, and there's one place where they put the secret syrup in what they called the sweet room. And he went back to, you know, my bedroom, and he pulled it up, and it was the sweet room. I said, see, that's why I'm so sweet. So, not true. So, uh, I was driving around in a white Mercedes, 1969 Mercedes. I had a roommate, uh, architect, uh, Sean Rickenbacker, who was driving a black Alfa Romeo, you know, so they called us, you know, um, uh, what was that song? Da da da, in Ebony. Ebony and Ivory, <laughs> that's what we were. Anything to be abused. So that's when, with studio uh, space, you know, I wanted to have a kind of equal, kind of weird, you know, not weird, but you know, you know, gritty uh, experience. And I found this uh, um, uh, flour mill barn and uh, rented the top floor was a little toasty, you know, but that's where, that's where I set up what felt most like an artist's studio. That's what I always wanted it to be, you know, so I have a really hard time actually sometimes calling it a firm or office. I'm like, no, it's a studio. And um, so to just really cultivate, uh, not that, you know, firms aren't, you know, creative, but I just really wanted rawness and kind of spontaneity and uh, so it was great. The barn really um, uh, inspired that. So um, and then I had an amazing opportunity. It was probably when dirt was the biggest. It was five of us including me uh, to be in the silk mills always seeking out these productive places and um, that was just absolutely wonderful again it just it just inspired spontaneity um, we you know plucked Rabinia black locust and put it in a you know old, old channel that was the spillway for the boiler you know and then painted a shuffleboard court so that when I you know I used to do timeout sometimes when it was like getting a little grazed you know in the studio I was like time out come on let's go you know and that really helped people's mind. 